Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is a quick video tour of our Bits Indicator Suite for the Motive Wave trading platform. This works for Forex if you have volume and price action. This works for futures and stocks, both day trading and swing trading. So let's talk a little bit about the chart. Remember, we talked about volume and price action just now. So we're looking for contraction in price action and an increase in volume. And then we are looking proximity to our points of control. You can see here in the blue, the pink dots and the yellow. We also print out the yesterday's high, the open, the close of yesterday, the mid of yesterday's range and the yesterday's low. Right at the bottom of the chart here, this gives you the bias. This is our bias indicator. So in green, we've got a bullish bias on a higher time frame. So that gives us that we, when we get a long signal on our bits indicator, this looks good. So this is a five minute chart on ES. This is today. Uh, we've had a signal come through. Uh, we, we're bullish bias on our, on our bias chart at the bottom here. We've got a signal at 3146.75. It prints this, prints a stop loss at 3145.75. And as you can see here, we've got one, two, three, four target zones. It tipped the fourth target zone. We've gone flat and now we've got some more um, signals just turning up there. So that's very, very simple. Five minute time frame, looking for those breakout trades and giving you the, the entry, the stop and the target zones. This works just as well for swing trading stocks, for example. So this is Apple on the daily time frame. So again, this now goes, the bias goes up to the weekly time frame, tells us what the bias is on that time frame. And as you can see here, we've got some great signals. 229.29 was the entry here. 222.09 was the stop. And it's been going long ever since there. We get more signals coming along. It's gone through the fourth target zone. We can then use, and we teach you how to do this in the boot camp, how to use our points of control for a trailing stop and in this case we got in at 229 we're still in this lagging point of control in yellow at 259 so a $30 move is our moving average for our trailing stop so that's it quick video tour for the motive wave bits indicator suite from tradethefifth.com